What's up, you guys? Welcome to Integration B for Intermediates Part 18. In this section, it's going to be a very small section because it's it will it's not this technique is you know it might come up it'll rarely come up in Integration B, but I'm just going to show you this trick because just for just for you to be aware of. Okay, so in this section, it's called the secret secret trick. And let me show you why. So, this is a substitution where we let u equal secant of x, then du is equal to secant x times tangent of x, right? But we can plug in u here. And so, sometimes, uh, when if you don't have secant x tangent x, you can just use u. Okay? Another thing, secant x plus tangent x, okay, then du is equal to secant square secant x tan x. But then if you can factor out secant x and you get secant x plus tangent x, this is also u. So, just want to give you this idea. Another cool thing another cool thing is that notice that secant square of x minus tangent square of x this is equal to 1 because tangent square plus 1 is secant square so we can factor this out we can factor this out and notice that this is equal to 1 so that means that if u is equal to this then 1 over u is what? secant x minus tangent of x. And so sometimes because of this, we can use u plus 1 over u and u minus 1 over u. This will give us the power of what? 2 secant of x. This here, this will give us 2 tangent of x. Ah, so this is very hard to see. We're going to use things like this. This is the secret secant trick. And we're going to sort of demonstrate all these types of uh, techniques in the integrals. So let's start with the basic. Right? We have, we want u equals secant of x because it's inside of the square root. We've got nothing to do. So then we have, we don't have a secant x. So u times tangent of x, which means that we get du dx. So we have root u over u du, which equals to du over root u. And this is simply 2 times the square root of secant x plus c. Alright, simple, very easy substitution. Done. So again, we have, a, we have this inside of the square root. We, we have to. We have to let u equal secant x plus tangent x. There's just, there's no way, right? So, but then we have our du, it's like secant square plus tangents, uh, tangent x secant x. Well, we can factor it. This is u times secant x. And we have secant x here. So, this is u dx. So, this is uh, du is the square root of u with u here. So now this is just u to the negative 3 halves du, which by power rule this is say plus 1. So this is plus 1, negative half, negative 2. So negative 2 of secant x plus tangent x of negative half. I'm just going to write it like this just for safety reasons, but that's your answer. And that's it. See? So, very sneaky, but once you know it, it's super fast and you just go straight to the answer like this. The substitution is super easy, no trig manipulation, just a secret, a secret secant trick. That's all it is. So this is being squared. I'm going to let u equal secant x plus tangent x. And then, of course, we only have secant. Oh, wait a minute. That's secant square. 
we only have secant x, right? But what do we do with that extra secant x? What do we do with that? Aha! Uh -huh. So, if u is equal to this, the 1 over u, let me sh I should probably erase this. 1 over u, what is 1 over u? Secant x minus tangent x. So how are we going to get another secant x? Well, if you look at this, we want to cancel out tangent x. So u plus 1 over u is equal to 2 secant x. Okay, so now turning this into the u world, we get u squared, we get over u du, but with another secant of x, we need u plus 1 over u over 2. Got it. So now, this is equal, see this cancels out, and we're just a bunch of a half du of u squared plus 1. Oh wow! Would you look at that? That's so much easier than expressing this. So we can go ahead and this is just oh well we can just integrate immediately u cube over 6 plus a half u so now we get 1 6 of secant x plus tangent x of 3 and then plus a half of secant x plus tangent x plus c and that is our answer and that's it very very good what do we do here secant x uh, what is this? Oh, this is secretly secant x. If we split it in terms, this is this is just secretly secant x plus tangent x. Right. So now, it's the same thing. Let u equal secant x plus tangent x. And du is equal to u times secant x. So this is just a square root of u of du over u to get because of this secant x. Oh wow. Another easy integral. This is just square root of secant x plus tangent x plus c. And there you go. Oh god. <laughs> huh. That's all we're given. Just this. This is all we're given. What on earth are we supposed to do with this? Huh. Okay. Well, let u equal uh, secant x plus tangent x. du is equal to u times secant x. But we don't have secant x. We have nothing. There's nothing for this dx. So what on earth are we going to do? Well, this is secant x. We can still substitute this. Let 1 over u, if this is plus, then 1 over u is going to be minus. <laughs> ah, and then, let's see, we need this to cancel out. So u plus 1 over u will cancel out tangent x to secant x. And we're going to substitute that in here. So our du our du is now u and u plus 1 over u over 2 which is equal to u squared plus 1 over 2 so our integral is u to the power of 4 du and then a reciprocal to 2 u4 u squared plus 1 Whoa, mind blown, isn't it? You see how amazing the secret secant trick is just, it's just, it's amazing. Because now it's just a geometric polynomial division. Okay, so this is uh, u squared plus 1, right? If I do u plus u squared minus u squared. Oh, I'm sorry, this should be minus. So this should be minus. 
right? Minus one. Uh, yeah, minus one plus one. You square. This is now equal to u cubed over three minus u plus inverse tangent of u. So now this is two thirds of secant x plus tangent x cubed minus 2 secant x plus tangent x and then plus 2 inverse tangent of secant x plus tangent x plus c. Holy hell. That's a lot. <laughs> so now for this one, this is our last integral. This looks very scary. All of a sudden, now we have secant x tangent x. But secant x plus tangent x is inside of ln, and that's cubed. Ugh. What on earth is going on here? So, well, we have u equals secant x plus tangent x. Well, we, we have to. There's, there's no other way. There's, there's, just, there's just no way to do that. So, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is being cubed. It's not it's it's the ln being cubed. Hold on a second. Let's take a step back. What if we let u equal ln of secant x tangent x? Then du is equal to secant x. Ah, uh, wait, but then what about this tangent? Ooh, ooh, what about that tangent? What about that tangent? e to the u is equal to secant x plus tangent x. Oh, you already know where this is going. You already know where this is going. If this is secant x plus tangent x, then e to the negative u is equal to what? This. So how do we get tangent of x? by canceling secant x out. So e to the u minus e to the negative u is equal to tangent x. So our integral is now u cube, u cube, and with tangent x, this is gonna be e to the u minus e to the negative u over two. And this is du. That's that's pretty much it, right? Uh, what does that look like? This is what? U cube of what? What is this? That is cinch. Mind blown. This is cinch. So now we get U cube cinch 3U square 6U negative 6 0 and then this just kind of alternates very easily. Oh, this is super, look at this, beautiful. Now we have u cube of cosh of u minus three u square of cinch of u plus six u cosh of u minus six cinch of you. Would you look at that? So this cinch here, literally cinch of u is equal to tangent x. Okay. That's amazing. And we let u equal ln of secant x plus tangent x. So <laughs> to plug this all back in, uh, cosh of u, we have cosh, let's just factor this, cosh of ln of secant x plus tangent x, and then we have u, pretty much u cubed plus 6u, okay, so ln cubed secant x plus tangent x, plus uh, 6 ln of secant x plus tangent x, Okay, that's all multiplied by that. And then minus 
minus sinh of u, which is minus tangent of x of 3u square, 3 ln square of secant x plus tangent of x, 3u square, and then 6, plus uh, 6. Oh, it's just 6. There's no u. So that's all it is. It's just 6. This is since you. And that's it. And this is our answer, plus C. This long answer, a very long answer. If you didn't know how to do secant secret tr uh, the secret secant trick, oh, God. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's all the integrals. That's, that's all the cases. That's pretty much it. It's very satisfying, right? You turn an ugly monster, and you literally just convert to something so easy to integrate so yeah a very very amazing sneaky trick so that's the secret secret trick uh shout outs to gmain for that technique actually this technique i learned it from gmain uh it's crazy <laughs> very crazy so uh yeah i hope this is very helpful i highly doubt you might use this but keep it in the back of your mind so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part